Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm talking in chat right now, and I will say something else. Hello, player two. And let's go to the player two side and let's see if it connects. So let's go into player two, and we can see that player two can't see what player one says. And when we type to player one, hello, player one. Um, and then we go back to player one, we could see that player one also has it as well. So let's say if you're on the spectators team, we don't want the spectators chat to interfere with the red or the blue team. And that's very easy to do. So um, let's just change to the spectators team. So let's go into the server, uh, the server side, which is right here, server. And we are going to wait till my game loads all right it loaded and we're going to go into works actually no not workspace we're going to go into players and we'll change player two to be a spectator um so we'll go right here and we'll change the team to spectators team which is right here and now the player two is on the spectators team so now when we check here player uh player two is spectating and we're in player one so we're in, still in the game we're red team and when we chat we could say hello oh the o didn't the o didn't come let's just pretend that said hello all right so we said that and we could see that it, the player one sees it but now when the spectator chest will say, hey, dude. And it gives us this tag. It says dead. And it says, hey, dude, without the E for some reason. It's not working. But um, we can see that we don't see it on player one. So it's very, very simple that uh, we can't see the same chat as the spectators team. So this is just like a little filter that basically controls um if the player is in the uh spectators that if they can't talk to the players who are still in the game so if they're either if they're on the red or the blue team then they can chat with each other but if they're on the spectators team we can't see the spectators chat and red can communicate to spectators but spectators cannot communicate to red okay so that is a little filter and we could say as much as we want this will work a bunch of times so we could say yo Please answer. And then we can go back to this. And we don't see it as well. We don't see anything. But if we became a spectator. So let's say both of them become a spectator. So we'll go. Uh, we'll make player one. And then we'll change it to. Um, change them to spectator. Spectator. And then we go into player one. We, now they're on the spectators team. Now, when we chat, hey, dude, can you see? Can you hear me? Or can you read this? Hey, dude, can you read this? Or can you hear me? And then we go over here. And they can see it. So we can communicate to each other as soon as we become spectators. But when we're on the blue and the red team, it will not work. Okay, and it's very easy to implement. So I'll show you very quickly. If we go into the server side, I'll show you all the scripts in here. So uh, basically, there's going to be two uh, different scripts that you have to add. Just go into the server, uh, go into server script service, insert a script. So click on the plus, insert a script. Oh, no, not responding. All right, so you insert a script into server script service. And I called the script server chat. Um, and we can open that up real quick. And this is the script that we have here. It's a very easy script. If they are on, the, are on the spectators team or if they're still alive, then they can communicate with each other. And this will be in the description. And for the tag, you don't have to add this other script. Um, 
if you go into starter player scripts and you insert a local script okay local script and you should do this when the game is stopped I just don't want to stop the game so um and then you could call the script local chat if you want but we just need to insert a local script you could call anything you want I call it local chat and if you look in the local chat script this is how we get our players tag so if player and player dot team equals spectators which is in game dot teams dot spectators we have a team called spectators here then um we have the tag called dead and we can call uh we can color it anything we want it's color three dot from rgb and it gives us the color and it's maroon and the tag right here is dead and we can use brackets you could just change these to brackets if you want brackets instead of parentheses but i chose parentheses for the dead tag and that, that's how you add a, de uh, a tag for all the spectators who are uh who are chatting and yeah it's a very it's very very easy i'll have these two in the description uh server chat will be in the description and local chat will be in the description as well and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this is how you could communicate from spectator to spectator and the spectators cannot communicate to the people who are still alive okay and the uh the people who are still alive can communicate to the spectators okay so this is perfect for those games that you want to have spectators and not have them interfere with the players who are still in the game such as murder mystery or anything such as that and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time